What's up guys? Make sure I have Mike was on. So, today we're on a job mowing the back of a pond and it's probably a little, about an acre and a half peeled up on top of the hill there. We had to mow all this down through here just to get back here. But it's still a little wet. I don't know how this mower's gonna do out back here. I ain't even been back here in like a month. So this stuff has really taken off because we had a lot of rain. I mean, it's hot. Hell yeah, take a look at that. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but that stuff is hot. It's gonna be a job for this cub cadet, but there's the pond. It's pretty back here. But this goes all the way out and around. It, it follows this cornfield all the way out and around. And it comes right back through here. And it goes, got to mow all this right down through here. And then all that big field up there. Like I said, that up, the field up there is like an acre, acre and a half, something like that. There's a total of probably, oh, I don't know, maybe two acres, two and a half acres to mow back here. But I've weed eated all around the edge of this pond about a month ago, too. And it needs it again, but that's not for this video. But we're gonna get this mowed down. We still got one more to do after this. And stick with us. We'll try to bring you some cool footage. Hopefully we can get some animals or something come up through here. We have a, a mom fox and three little cubs over here, but I haven't seen them out in a while. So I don't know if they're still there or not. All right, let's get to work. Now take a look at that. Remember how clumpy it was? Even got a little bit of striping in there. If I can get back out here next week, the stripes will look a lot better. 
I went over this four times. Look at that. Looks great all the way up through there. This side I gotta do the same to it. See all the clumps down through I mean, it's just it was so thick down through here. I mean it just clumped up immediately and was still wet. But we're gonna make it look nice. I'm not too concerned up on top of the hill because not a whole lot of people go up there except me because I deer hunt this area too. So I don't really try to make it real nice back here in the field or back here going around the cornfield. I just mainly make it look nice around in here, around the pond. As people, a lot of people come back here and they fish on this. I like it to be presentable. But look at that. That's just what it takes. If you want to mow one time, go right ahead. But I'm telling you, if you take your time and you do it a couple times, it just makes it worthwhile. That looks just so much better. Yeah, you use a lot more fuel, but it just looks a lot better. I had to keep turning you guys off. My battery's almost dead, so when I'm done with this one here, I will show it to you then. Hey guys, I sure hope you guys can see that. Look at them stripes trying to come out in that thing. Got all the chunks off of it. Went over this uh, one, four times as well. But I mean, just look at that. Little persistence, that's all it takes. Just a little bit of persistence. And you can achieve anything. That cup could have. It's a nice machine there. I'm gonna leave you guys around here in the shade. I got 19% left on this battery. That sucks. I'm gonna go around there, mow all that. I got you set up on the GoPro. Hopefully I got it on there right because it's showing on the screen that it's picture was upside down, so I, I turned the GoPro upside down. So hopefully it works. I still gotta clean up this side too, which I'll do that later after I'm done mowing everything else. I have probably three hours mowing that up on top of that hill as that stuff's so high. But you can see how chunky this stuff is. This was worse, chunky wise, over on the side of that hill and over there. It just takes a little bit of time and a little, little bit of, yeah, can't talk. A little bit of patience. And you can have stuff like that cleaned up real quick. Deer season's right around the corner. Nice little path cut in here. There's the deer stand. Now, there's the deer stand. About 50 feet up here on the left. There's my deer blind. <laughs> now the reason that's there is because my 11 year old son and my wife, they both enjoy coming out here and deer hunting with me. Plus Brennan, he's old enough to where he's killing deer now. He can't get up in that tree stand because it's only a single. So we'll put him down here in this blonde. It's all pines back through there. Right back here behind the pines. It looks like they have corn planted back there this year. But most of the years they have beans. And we have corn over here. Well, everything's the same this year. So who knows where these deer are going to come from. Still got my chair in there. Thought I took it out. See any snakes? Or hornet's nests. But the main thing I came up here to show you, I got that field done. This property hits a it's a neat one. It's like a big U shape once you get back here into the back field. But there's a, right there, all the way up through here is an old cemetery. Now that thing's, bait, I mean, it's dated way back. And the county comes out here and they mow that. But it's it goes way back in the old days. 
it's a good little deer hunting spot. I mean, I don't charge the lady to mow. She lets me deer hunt, she lets me fish, she lets me come back here, camp if we want to. She lets us do whatever we want to do. So it's my payment of saying thank you. I think it's a pretty well evened up trade. My work for my pleasure. Look at that. Man, that's just satisfying just to just to see that. You put so much hard work into something and it looks like crap when you start. And as you get into it, it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. And then you get further into it and you just feel like that you're stuck in a hole. But once you get out of it, I'm telling you, once you get out of it, the accomplishment is more greater than anything. It just looks it looks great. And all this is, is cutting grass. But I mean still. If you'd have seen what it looked like before, I mean you all did. What you guys seen down down there by the pond, it was just as high as that and just as thick. Now like over here by this edge, that crap was insanely thick. Big old tree. That's a big mama jamma right there. But me and the wife and the kids will come down here to the pond. We we'll catch some bluegill. There's some small bass in there. I guess there's catfish in there. I ain't caught one, but somebody else has caught one. There's these fish in there, and I'm not sure what they are, but they are ginormous, and they're not carp. They're uh, there's some type they they won't bite on your bait but they keep your ponds clean i'm not sure i was told what the names of them were a long time ago but i can't remember what they were now i'm telling you these things are massive they are some big old fish that's a nice little pond funny story i was uh me and the wife came down here to frog gig. Now I was standing, oh, right about there. Right in there somewhere. And I'm sitting there shining light down through there. My wife, she's standing back behind me. Corn hadn't even come up yet. And I heard some ruckus right behind me. I turn around and look, and here goes my wife. She's going up through the field. <laughs> she didn't even tell me there was a damn skunk right beside me. <laughs> she just left me. Man, I need you out here in edges. Pretty tickled about it. And this down here, I can't move that. It's all swampy. I know it's sitting on a little bit of a hill, but it's still wet. Maybe I'll get in here at the weed whacker or something and try and clean this all up. That's about the furthest I can get with the mower as it gets all wet right there and it stays wet for some reason. It don't make sense because it's, it's, I mean, it's on a sharp incline, but it stays wet here in frogs. They're taunting me. That corn now, that stuff is sprouting now. That stuff was only, oh, three foot tall a week ago, I bet. And it's every bit of six foot tall now. <laughs> Just in one week. Well, that's all I had. I wanted to take you back here and show you. I did do the hill. It is finished. Does look good. I mowed uh, right after that. I mowed my yard front and back. Uh... After that, we had some dinner, and then that was it. Oh, when I get up here, it's a long walk to get back to the house. I'll show you our yard. But stick with me. Now you're back. I oh, know, you didn't want to see my face. It's all good. Here's the backyard, somewhat. 
It's all the way down through here. There was a guy back there fishing a little bit ago, so I think he had his truck parked here. They normally could drive through there, but corn's there now, so they can't. It's all the way up through there. There's a trampoline around on the other side. This, I'd like to get rid of it, but I don't want to. It's got berries in it, and we enjoy the berries. We got pumpkins planted in there. Where the trampoline sits at now, we have one big garden. But it did not produce that well for us last year, so we went down to just something simple. We got some pumpkins planted and we got tomatoes planted around front. You guys seen in one of my videos that me and Atlanta making that flower garden around there. That's it. The whole front done, all the back. Just gotta finish getting everything cleaned up and straightened up and get ready for tomorrow. I do appreciate you guys watching. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, comment, whatever you wanna do. Subscribe if you like to.